Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. On this edition of Rise Up Reedsville, Quentin Robertson, Parks and Recreation Superintendent for the City of Reedsville. Hey, Quentin, how you doing? Hey, good morning, Mike. How are you doing? I am doing just great. Well, lots of things are not happening, but things are happening. You folks have made a lot of facility improvements recently. Bring us up to date. All kinds of good things going on. Exactly. I know right now we kind of have a kind of a halt postponed on a lot of programming, but at the time now we're trying to just upgrade some of the facilities that we're we're trying that we use throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Um, Major projects uh, right now, uh, we're actually breaking ground. Um, pretty soon this week on our J.C. Field um, 3, the expansion to its collegiate field. So that's very exciting. Hopefully we can have that ready for the North State um, Baseball League to actually start in the summer of 2021. So um, we're definitely excited about that. Yeah, we're excited so, about the so, entertainment part. So groundbreaking is going to be this week. Yeah, yes, that's what it's scheduled for. Um, we should uh, on the schedule right now that, that they're going to be breaking ground in a parking lot this year this week so mm-hmm. um that's that's the first kind of not say ribbon cutting but the first actual ground breaking and uh and go ahead and start the process uh, uh piece by piece there so hopefully we got a few months here to work with so hopefully the, the weather holds out and won't get any any bad weather so we can stay on schedule we're ready to play ball next summer aren't we exactly exactly yeah. so we're excited yeah okay and some other projects you're working on Right, right, yeah. So we're, we're we have already begun our sewer line project throughout the um, Lake Reeser there. We're trying to um, upgrade our campgrounds a little bit there. Uh, while it's kind of closed, set, settled down right now. Um, the campground is kind of sit on a the slope there, so we're going to try to make sure we can kind of get some some of the campgrounds a little bit more level. Um, it's still extending our sewer project that will come through the sewer. Um, come through um, Lake Reesville and um, back out to the city roads there. So um, water and, and, and the process of all that will be a much more clean and more flow, the pressure and everything, and the campgrounds are getting a little bit more, uh, like we call it, glamping, uh, glamified here a little bit. So mm-hmm. uh, once that opens up, man, we're definitely going to be expecting the public and everyone that enjoys camping or hiking or fishing to definitely come out there and enjoy the lake a lot more. Sure. Okay. What are, what about new lights? I understand something going on there. Uh, exactly. So within the projects that we're doing, I'm extending uh, our football fields. Uh, well, Lake Breezeville has some area there. We're extolling lights uh, to create a multi-purpose sports field there. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be bringing in uh, you know some some local football, youth football there, um, soccer, and uh, maybe also probably looking into adding maybe some lacrosse and some other little field sports that we can kind of. Get in, and get involved in throughout the county. Mm-hmm. Okay. While we're talking about Lake Reedsville, uh, bring us up to date uh-huh. on uh, on the trail project. And Lake Reedsville is open and available for lots of things. Yeah, correct, correct. So we're, we're our trail projects. We're expanding those trails um, throughout the lake, um, circling around through some property that we acquired over the last couple um, last year. Um, so it's actually being cleaned out. So we want to have it a a place where people can actually just come to the lake, walk some of the trails, do some fishing, you can do some disc golf. So the shelter rooms are still open. Uh, you can do some mountain biking. And also right now we have our duck season is open now through February. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Lake Reedsville yeah. is always popular, isn't it? Lots of folks like yes. Lake Reedsville for lots of reasons. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, it's a, it's a funny story. I actually just got a call um last week that uh, a guy would like to land a seaplane on Lake Reedsville. Oh. And, um, and and it could be an opportunity to have some type of tourism to it. Or, uh, we don't know yet. But it's just an idea that, you know, Lake Reedsville is getting more popular and we're getting more, like, um, calls about, you know, different programs and, and different arrangements that, you know, people would like to come use our lake for. So mm-hmm. we're excited. Okay. Is that going to happen probably? Well, we're scheduling a meeting now, uh, just trying to make sure we have the policies and procedures of, and actually um, getting to know what a sea boat actually looks like and how it actually works on the water and everything. Mm-hmm. So okay. um, later, within the next couple of weeks, we'll probably begin together just having some conversations and see, you know, where this may be able to fit in within Lake Reeseville if, if, if there is a possibility. Sure. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about the other parks that are available around the city? Okay. Well, all of our outdoor parks and facilities are open. Um, we just want to make sure that everyone sticks to the regulations as far as the governor. 
uh, what he has in place. But the shelters, the trails, the um, tennis courts, uh, our pickleball court is completely active pretty much every day. Uh, we're still hosting Zumba classes outside of the tennis courts as well. Um, along with, you know, baseball and softball tournaments and our basketball um, goals are open to the um, public as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So still lots of activities going on. And, you know, we've had some really good weather. We've got kind of a rainy morning here, uh, but that's clearing out. Uh, But still people are getting, getting out and about and staying active, it sounds like, too. It is. And I think it's a great thing. I know. Uh, the younger generation always complain about being outside, but now it's just one of those times now like you, you want to be outside and yeah. enjoy it. So we want to make sure that our amenities and, and our facilities are up to par and are and clean and, and free for the public to still come out there with their families and enjoy a nice day at the park. Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, and I, and I appreciate it. There's a lot of hard work. We go out and enjoy these facilities and, and all of the, the activities that go with them and a lot of hard work behind the scenes and getting all of that ready for us to enjoy. So thank you for the behind the scenes work and making that happen. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you, Mike. Now this is a time, uh, getting into uh, a time of giving and caring and, and that the holiday season, uh, tell us about the, uh, the, uh, coat drive that's uh, getting underway. Oh, perfect. This is one of my favorite times of the year. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, family fellowship and, and giving back. Um, so we have the pay it for coat drive. Uh, we're accepting donations, new or gently used coats. Um, our goal in the last couple of years was to reach 100 coats, uh, brand new coats, and we have been reaching that goal. So this year we want to continue to do that. Um, and you would like to donate a coat. Um, coats can be given out on um, December um, 19th at um, 9 o'clock at Reesville Parks and Recreation Center. Um, the location for that is 20 one North Washington Avenue, Reesville, uh, 27320. Again, uh, our goal is to reach 100 coats, um, brand new or gently used. Uh, we have given out so many coats last year to different families and, and making sure that they are uh, prepared for the winter for the winter months. And, and just giving back, uh, we just – we have been doing this since our fourth year coming up, and um, every year it's been kind of getting bigger and bigger. Um, we get a lot of coats that get donated, but we also get toys, and so uh, we get the opportunity, you know, to make those kids and some of the families here around in the area, you know, a little bit happier for the, um, you know, the holidays. Sure. Oh, that that's yeah. a wonderful thing to do. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, sharing. That, that's great. Okay, so uh, that you're doing that now, accepting those coats. And yes. uh, and they will be given out on the 19th. Okay. Yes. If, if someone needs more information on that, what's the best way to, to get that uh, information, Quentin? Oh, please. You can um, definitely reach out to us and call our um, re- uh, recreation department office. That number is 336-349-1090. Or you can kind of send us a message through our Facebook. Uh, that's Reasonable Parks and Recreation is there. Um, and so if you want to have a drop-off location, uh, just give us a call, and we can kind of set you up and let you know where you may be at so we can have someone at one of our facilities kind of help out and make sure that you get those donations in on time. Okay, very nice. All right, well, we're still in uh, – it's COVID time continuing, uh, and uh, and we're still uh, working with those uh, – with social distancing and, and the three W's. Yes, that – Wear your mask, wait six feet, and wash your hands. I, I've actually seen a, a great um, commercial um, the other day about practicing social distances, and it was actual um, lighter matches, um, and they had was kind of lined up, and, and the concept was if you get too close to the match, then the other match will get set on fire. Mm-hmm. And it was said that uh, that should be your take on COVID, uh, not wearing your mask and staying at home. Uh, which is very interesting because one match caught on fire, then all of a sudden it was like a domino effect, and then one match actually moved out of the way, and it was it stopped. And yeah. <laughs> it was just self-explanatory, but it was a good commercial. Uh-huh. It was a great way to, ex- way to explain yeah. the uh, concept of what's going on. I, I get the visual. I see it. I understand. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and some people are taking this seriously, and some people aren't, unfortunately, but... It is important that we uh, certainly follow all of the guidelines and and make sure we do things right here so we can uh, get through things safely uh, this this Christmas season for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, yeah. And we're going to continue to, to work to continue our practice safety, but also um, this is a time for us to kind of reinvent and, and create new programs to make sure that everyone can continue to stay involved and participate, but also stay safe and healthy at the same time. Yeah. Thinking outside of the box, so to speak. 
Yeah. Okay. All right, Quentin, a um, couple minutes left. Anything else we need to mention before we wrap it up? Well, no, we're just really excited about, you know, what we got coming on forth in the year 2021 here. And um, we're hoping that everyone is able to just get out and continue to, you know, be safe, practice safe, healthy lifestyles and enjoy our parks and recreation facilities. Um, I know our, our programming is in team sports and some of that has kind of uh, slowed down, but we're going to continue to strive and push forward in the next couple um, next couple months to have some things set in place so that we can kind of continue to have kids active and adults active and uh, and continue to be a staple here in the community as being a, uh, a great parks and recreation facility and department. Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for the good work you do. I, I saw something the other day on Facebook. Someone had said they normally don't stay up on New Year's Eve, but they're going to stay up this year not to see the old uh, to see the new year, to really to see that to make sure the new year comes in. <laughs> you know, the old, one, the old one goes. I want to make sure that sets out of here. Yeah, that is that is. This year's be a different type of celebration, but yeah, we're hopefully we can get there. Yeah, but uh, looking forward to twenty twenty one and some parks and right things too. Quentin, I appreciate it. Always good to talk to you. Have a good week and a good December. We'll talk again soon. Thank you, Mike. You too. Have All a good right. one. That's Quentin Robertson. Quentin is Parks and Recreation Superintendent for the City of Reedsville. Let me give you his uh, phone number in case you need to contact him directly. 336-349-1091. 349-1091. Reedsville Parks and Recreation. And please check out the website, riseupreedsville.com.